Good morning, everybody. This is um, early on Sunday, the 15th of August. It's nine o'clock in the morning, and my father has requested um, a quick run around the garden again so that we can, uh, he can align himself on where everything is plant-wise from the previous post. So this is looking out over the front, from the front of the house, just standing in front of the garage. These are our neighbours' houses, and this is the cul-de-sac. We have a rhododendron bush there on the front corner. This is our front lawn. Okay, so we're going for the front of the house planters, which Beth uh, is growing various vegetables in. And they are here on the front porch. We've got um, tomatoes in this one. There's one very red tomato in there that we need to eat. More tomatoes. More tomatoes. Strawberries. And there's a few strawberries progressing on here. And more tomatoes here. A slightly larger variety I think. And on the very end, we've got a bit of a gap, but then we have a cucumber plant with a cucumber in there. I can get it. And another cucumber tucked away under here. And this one's doing quite well. Okay, rather than going through the house where Beth is practicing concertina, I'm going to go around the side. We've uh, got a long strip of currently unused space along this fence and we're thinking that next year we might pick up all these pebbles and plant tomato plants along there. And the question is going to be, do they get enough light and so forth and is it going to be useful? So you can see some of the fences in light already at 9 o'clock and then from 10 through to about 2 o'clock in the afternoon it's in full light. Um, and then later in the day it gets into shade again. So looking at our shop, Beth's bought another tool, she's got a drill press to assemble today, which is sitting in the shop. Um, this is our air conditioning, heating, cooling unit. So it's around the side of the house. We've noticed that when we turn it on to cool, it's quite noisy. Um, well, it's for us anyway. And that is our gazebo, which we haven't used that much yet this summer, but we certainly will do. With netting to stop the flies and bugs getting in. This is the back door to the shed, or to the shop I should call it, which leads into my den up the stairs there, and into the room above. Let's take you up there briefly. I'm in the process of continuing the reorganising up here. So uh, that's my den. display of some of my space Playmobil up here. That's where the mug went to. Okay, so across the pebbles. This is the attempted tomato planter. Uh, unfortunately the metal post wasn't heavy enough or wasn't strong enough to support um, the weight of the soil when it was wet and in a strong wind it fell over and we've had to straighten it up again so it's currently not being used except as a home for a big spider another one, another spider web on the other side 
So this is the main back bed, which has a variety of different things. And we've actually picked some cucumbers yesterday, but there's a cucumber plant down here. The peas, which are coming to the end of their season, and Beth's cut away a lot of the peas. Uh, this is broccoli, but we're not quite sure what's happening to it, because it doesn't look like any broccoli we know, but it is officially broccoli. And uh, more tomatoes. These are particularly large ones. And more tomatoes. Tucked away in there. Uh, somewhere. And beans, which need harvesting and something, I'm not sure what that is, but it's some kind of salad plant, I think. And then we've got carrots growing away quietly in the background behind the peas. They've been getting a lot of shelter from the peas, so hopefully they'll get more sun and do well. And then all along the back fence behind is a grapevine, which also tends to throw out shoots a long way. And tucked in to the grapevine. We've got bunches of grapes not quite ready for picking. They're still very small, but maybe another month and we'll be there. Another bunch is in there, and they're all over the place. On the bank behind the grapevine is this huge growth of bush, blackberry bush and other things, which I'm going to tackle. Uh, later in the year. Along the back we have a walkway here which the cats mostly enjoy <clears throat> which we could plant things on but we haven't done this year but next year we might get potatoes planted in here and then we can just about see down there is the creek and you heard the ducks earlier. I think they've heard me now. So they're being quiet. And this sec back section all belongs to us. Um, we've got blackberries popping up all over the place. We're not particularly fond of blackberries so we tend to try and chop these back. But I guess we should pick the blackberries first. I just hear the morning flight of geese going over. Should be visible somewhere up here. Here we go. So that's every morning we get some another twenty or thirty geese fly over to join their friends further south. So that was the bed, and this is strawberries growing under this tree. This is, we're calling it the lilac bush, we're not sure if it really is lilac. I'm told it's called a butterfly bush. And um, it attracts a lot of birds and hummingbirds. Then along the further back fence, We've got a hummingbird feeder which has been completely ignored by the hummingbirds so far. Um, a fuchsia, which has had a lot of activity. And a cat, who's uh, waiting to ambush the birds but hasn't really been very successful. And there's a tomato plant in there as well. But I haven't, oh yes there is a couple of tomatoes growing on this one. I'm going to stop there and then start another video.